Yeah, I'm just talking about what's happening. Now, no. um, Freeway Rick Ross is doing a movie, and he said that he wanted to reach out to you to see if you guys could actually come together after battling legally for That's years. That's weird. And now no. he's saying, let's come together and collaborate. Ain't nothing to come together about. Mm-hmm. He do him. All right, so there's no mending this. Ain't nothing. Okay. He, talk, he awkward. talked a little crazy. He was talking crazy at one point. That's what Buster's do. He sued do. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody do that. But you actually that. Everybody do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw your lawsuit on the grass. Leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you laugh at stuff like that when you like, oh, now you want to do business. Now you want me involved. With you you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, what else could it be? You know what I'm saying? If you was, you know, and, and you know, if you was who you say you was, you would have got out and, you know, we could have talked about that. Mm-hmm. We could have did that off the rip. And we talk about a lot of books and it's a lot of this going on, but mm-hmm. they don't mention the 40 people he testified on and sent to prison for life. Mm. You know, that's the information I seen because of lawsuits. That ain't in the, I don't hear none of that in the, and everybody wearing the shirts. We don't do that where I'm from. Mm-hmm. And then you blame it on who used you. Nah, you told, it's called you testified. It's you told. Yeah, I feel like it's more beneficial when people reach out to you behind the scenes instead of publicly saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I go though, and you know they play the G roll G, but you know, three oh five in my yeah yo, that's where we from, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And we we see this, and you keep moving. That's why you got to stay focused. You see these type of things, and you keep moving, and. You know, you get in power and you just make sure you never become that type of person. Uh, I'm not mad at him, you know, for, for, for what he did. Uh, but I would like some acknowledgement that he did do that. Uh, and I think that it would be good for him to come out and let the people know that when he rap and tell them that he sold dope and that's how he parlayed this into a music career, that he would come out and let them know that that's not true. Uh, that he's really just an entertainer and because I think that our kids believe that you can go out and sell drugs and turn it into a rap career you know and, and that's not true because I believe that I believe that I could go and sell drugs and parlay that into businesses and then I could go on and live happily ever after without going to prison and without paying a price you know but there's nothing that you do that you don't pay the price Big time. That's one thing about Ross. Ross don't stress nothing. Nothing. Ross keeps it moving. <laughs> <laughs> he don't stress a thing. <laughs> I always feel like Ross is the kind of person that you really could approach and, you know, behind the scenes if there's ever an issue and really have a conversation with because you are a very rational, like, I think know? it depends how you do it first. If you jump out there and say something crazy about him first, I don't think he will. Yeah. But I still, even, you yeah, know, yeah. things happen. As we all know, it's hip-hop. Things happen. And people can always come in men's situations. Mm-hmm. I feel like if it's behind the scenes, I don't feel like you're the type of person that is going to just, you know. What? Shut it down completely. No, like, I, I definitely feel like you would listen. I, no, I don't know. I think he'll definitely shut it down I don't know what you get I mean, I feel like he listens. I, I don't know. Mm. I could be wrong. Mm. <laughs> How do you gauge those situations, though? Because you and Jeezy <laughs> did piece everything up. Yeah, we actually bumped into each other. That's mm-hmm. how we did that. You know, we bumped into each other mm-hmm. and we chopped it up right then. That's the way those type of things, if it's going to happen, that's how it happen. Gotcha. But usually, Organically. Yeah, if you usually step out there and, you know, it ain't going to, you know, it ain't going to get. I ain't holding nothing back. all here in the book. This is the book that they don't want you to read. It's real, and it's raw, and I'm the real Rick Ross. And it was of him in this uniform, in some type of ceremony. Um, And there was a lot of rumor going around that he was a cop. We were just shocked. I figured like somebody was really nice on the Photoshop game and, and flipped a young Ross into a, a policeman's outfit. The fire surrounding the controversy simmered down by the end of the year as Ross started work on his next album, Deeper Than Rap. But virtually no one expected this. I love to pay your bills, can't wait to pay your rent. Baby mama ain't asking for a cent. Burn the house down, you gotta buy another. Don't forget the gas can't jump stupid. The first time that I heard Mafia music, I was kind of taken aback. I was surprised. I'm like, 
Oh. Oh my goodness, like he's actually going at 50. Because in my mind, I'm like, he's not going at 50. Not to be played with, 50 Cent released Officer Ricky. Go ahead and try me. The beef between Rick Ross and 50 Cent is in full bloom. I think that Rick Ross 50 Cent beef came absolutely out of nowhere. And you're like, whoa, what did 50 do? Rick Ross addressed that very same question, along with a lot of other pressing issues surrounding this beef when he sat down for this intense one-on-one. -on -one. This is where it gets deeper than rap. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting down having a boss-to-boss -boss conversation with my man Rick Ross. Good believe, to see you, brother. Believe that, homie. Thank you for taking the time out to chop it up with your brother. Likewise. Just three years. You've been really on on the on the the front front page of the hip hop scene. Is this where you thought you would be in, in, in the amount of success that you would have three years in? Well, I can't say that. You know, I predicted. You know what I mean? I'd be this this large. But you know, at the same time, I was always a big dreamer. Right. I was always thinking big. So I knew I knew this was the possibilities and this is what I was grinding for. So, you know, it all paid off. And there's a saying that been coined many a time, more right. money, more problems. Right. In summer of 2008, uh, some pictures turned up uh, of, of you online right. uh, or of a person that looks like you online who's working as a correctional officer. Uh, is that or is that not Rick Ross in those pictures? That was me in the photos. Okay. Most definitely. Is there an explanation? Most definitely. <laughs> and the reason, you know, when, when rumors surfaced, I felt like me going to a radio station giving a yes or no answer wouldn't be a clear depiction of the situation. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, since I was a young kid, man, you know, um, I ran with a team. I was politely asked to um, take a position. And most definitely it was a position that I didn't want to take mm -hmm. because I was living a whole nother lifestyle. But it was something that the team asked me to do. Okay. They gave me a little time period for me to make a few moves. I can't go into why I did it. I can't go into what was happening. I didn't understand it at first neither. But after a few months I did. You know, and um, you know, the day I was through, you know, with my duty, I walked out. Rumor has it. Right that the pictures were released by Trick Daddy, former label mate. Is there any truth to that? Do you have any idea where they came from? Does it matter where they came from? No, most definitely it didn't matter. You know what I mean? A fact is a fact. So it, it was irrelevant at that time. Mm -hmm. But when the Trick Daddy speculations came up, I most definitely, you know, I was on tour, so I gave him a call just gangster to gangster. You know what I mean? I, I want to check your temperature. Right. You know what I mean? And I know Trick Daddy, if he did do it, he wouldn't tell me he would. You know what I mean? He know what would come of that. You know what I mean? So most definitely he denied it, and, and I respected it. Cool. I get at you, all. So what's the current status of y'all relationship at this point? Um, I'm always focused on getting money. You know what I mean? I most definitely put on the table whatever his situation was as far as business. Maybach Music would love to um, sign him. You know, as far as personal, ain't no personal. Lots of people see this as a threat to your credibility as an artist. Do you? Of course not. I think people just need to open their mind up into what really is a hustle and what surviving is about. Mm -hmm. And now, now that I look back on it, I really thank the OG for asking me to do that because I look at it like he saved my life. All my other homies, you know, that, that I ball with, you know, got a dime 15 or an L boy better, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm grateful for having that third eye. I'm grateful for having that hindsight. So now that's the maturity that I put in my music. Now don't get it twisted. I've been cut though. That's what I come from. Right. That's what I always seen. And I ain't got no problems with that arising. Right. But at the same time, I want to be better. That's what I try to present more to the people than a darker side of me. Because it's most definitely two and three sides to every G. This is what I mean by real conversation. This is Deeper Than Rap with Rick Ross, and we'll be right back. I just wanted to have a few words with him. And when I seen him, I, he, he expressed like he was in fear. And he, he broke off his, you know, his line.